Hello kids, how are you? Today, we're going to have the continuation of our lesson, which is the homograph. And this is under the Unified Supplementary Learning Materials, or the USLEM, of Grade 3 English under Week 2 of the third quarter. Are you ready? Let's do this! But before that, let's have a short review of what homograph means. Okay? Directions. Read the pairs of meaning and choose a correct homograph from the box below and write your answer in the middle box. Are you ready? Now, the first meaning is a stone and the second meaning is a type of music. The correct answer is rock. Okay? Next. The first meaning is the sound that ducks make. And the next one is false doctor. The correct answer is, that's correct, quack. This means the power or strength. And another meaning is the past tense of may. The correct answer is, yes might next this means to hit mildly and the next one is a faucet the correct answer is cha okay and lastly this means to communicate one's thought this could also be moving or being sent fast the correct answer is yes, express. Now, let's think about this, kids. When we say homograph, they have the same spelling but different in meaning and sometimes in sound. Okay? Now, let's have some examples of homograph. Number one is date. Date as in noun means a fruit or a specific plant on a calendar or a specific point on a calendar. The next one is date as in verb to go out with another person, usually with romantic intentions. Number two is pick. Pick as a noun. This is a tool used to chip away at something. Example is I speak. And pick as a verb means to choose something. Number three is hide. Hide as in verb. To go somewhere where you cannot be seen or found. And another one is hide as in noun. The skin of an animal. Number four is wind. Wind as a noun, meaning the flow of air. And another one is wind. Wind as a verb. This means to turn something around. Example is winding your watch so it starts working again. And lastly, you have the word lead. Lead as a noun, meaning to say a metal, and lead as a verb, meaning to be in charge. Are you ready for activities? Let's do this! For activity 1, you're going to write the correct pair of homographs to complete the sentence. Now the homographs are tear and tear, record and record, wound and wound, can and can, firm and firm, refuse and refuse, right and right, sales and sales, bark and bark, and 
bear and bear. Are you ready? Now for activity number two, you're going to underline the homograph that matches the meaning provided in italics after the sentences. Okay? For activity number three, you're going to write the letter of the correct picture from the underlined homograph in the sentence. Remember kids, homograph is a pair of words that have the same spelling but different meanings. Examples, Ellen resent her email. And the other one is, I hope John doesn't resent you for being here. Homographs can also sometimes be pronounced differently. Examples are, tie a pretty bow on that package, and Jim took a bow after the performance. It is important to be able to use homographs because the same word can have different meanings. For example, if you are unaware of the multiple meanings behind the homograph shot, it could be very confusing to receive a note which says you're going to get a shot this afternoon. Does it refer to an opportunity or an antibiotic? We could add some helping words for context. You're going to get a shot or a peel this afternoon. We could use the word peel as a hint that this is an alternative for the shot. Okay? Special thanks to the development and editorial team, the illustrator, the, la the writer, and the layout artist, the content or the language editors, and the management team.
So kids, that is the end of our discussion for today. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.